A new development tonight in KSL's investigation failure to protect. An accused serial predator arrested the day after our first report in this series was back in court today. KSL investigators have spent months digging into Joshua Homer's criminal past. And tonight, Daniela Rivera reveals when law enforcement knew about potential probation violations and when they finally took action. Joshua Lloyd Homer. When we last saw Joshua Homer in October, he walked in and out of the courtroom a free man. Good morning, Your Honor. But today, he faced a Davis County judge from inside the Utah County Jail. State of Utah versus Joshua Homer. Without his longtime private attorney, Rich Gallegos, who last week filed to be removed from the case. Do you want us to see if you qualify for a public defense? Oh, sure. uh, see if I qualify. Joshua Homer is here for several alleged violations of his probation. He is currently under investigation uh, for rape. Vanessa Clark reported to law enforcement in Utah County that Homer sexually assaulted her on November 6th. That was just days after he was in front of this same judge and sentenced to zero tolerance probation for sex crimes against a 16 year old. I can't believe that he was able to do what he did. Another troubling detail of Vanessa's report to law enforcement is her statement that Homer had a gun. And I saw it that it was fully loaded and just out in the open and even when I asked him to like maybe even put it away, showing him that I was scared of it, he was aggressively defensive about it and it made me more scared in that position. Vanessa says she told police about the gun when she reported the assault in November. And the KSL investigators told the Utah County Sheriff's Office about her claim too, in this interview with Sergeant Spencer Cannon on December 2nd. He's now a felon and he's on probation. And I'm trying to figure out how has he not been arrested for a probation violation? Ha, you know, have detectives called APNP to let them know, maybe do a house check? I don't, I don't know on the specifics of that. I don't know if they're, uh, what, what steps they've taken, what contacts they've made. The sheriff's office admits that communication between agencies about the gun didn't happen until the morning after our first report on Joshua Homer aired on December 13th. Documents later submitted to the courts by adult probation and parole reveal they didn't hear from the Utah County Sheriff's Office until the next day, December 14th, when they were notified about an investigation into Homer for an alleged rape and that the victim claims she has seen Homer in possession of a loaded firearm. APNP arrested Homer that same day. They did not find a gun, but a search of his home and car found evidence of potential drug and alcohol use, two pocket knives and a driver's license that didn't belong to him. APNP submitted claims of eight probation violations to the courts, and despite previously recommending probation for Homer, the agency now says he is an extreme public safety risk and not a good candidate for the privilege of probation. But before that, supervision records obtained by the KSL investigators indicate between October 18th and December 7th, APNP considered Homer to be in compliance. Only two visits to his home are listed in these heavily redacted documents, and they both end the same way. No answer at the door. Aren't they supposed to be checking up on him? What Are they even doing their jobs? So, Your Honor, we'd like to deny those allegations for now. The state's asking, Your Honor, that the Nobel hold remain in place. In court today, Judge David Connors decided to keep Homer in custody without bail until his next hearing in this case set for January 10th. Mike Andini.